I'm Mark Callan, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Heaters in a saltwater tank. I would say 98% of hobbyists need a heater in your tank. You got to keep the thing at least fairly warm. And at the same time, heaters are one of those things that often fail around a saltwater tank. They fail and they don't turn on, things get too cold, or in worst case, they fail and everything gets too hot. And we hear about heaters failing, say, yeah, it fried all my fish. Well, okay, but how long does that really take? Well, we don't know, so we're gonna test it out today. Here's how this is gonna work. We've got ourselves a 20 gallon tank. We've got a 300 watt heater, which by the way is way too much for this tank, but we don't wanna be here all day. We've got a C-shaped Voyager just circulating some water around here to help keep the temp up. And we've got two temperature probes so we can keep an eye on what the temperature is in the tank. Now, right now the tank is about 68 degrees, colder than what you're gonna keep in your tank, but I've got this heater on. There's no thermostat on this heater at all. Which, by the way, here's a pro tip for you. Pro tip, always have a secondary thermostat for your heater. Even if your heater has a built-in thermostat, use a secondary thermostat as a safety net. This way, if your heater fails on, then the secondary thermostat takes over and prevents a tank overheating episode. For the purpose of this experiment, this 300 watt heater has no thermostat on it. It just runs as long as it's plugged into the wall. We're now gonna crank this thing up. We're just gonna leave this on. We're gonna see just how long it takes to overheat this 20 gallon tank. The race is on. 24 hours later, we're at 111 degrees. Now this thing is just about topped out because last night it was about 106. So we're not getting very far with this 300 watt heater. Let's be clear, at 111 degrees, your livestock is very likely toast. Not good, but you know what? For the fun of this experiment, we're gonna add in an 800 watt heater, keep the 300 watt heater in there for a total of 1.1 kilowatts, not gigawatts, 1.1 kilowatts of heat coming into this thing. Let's see how hot we can really get this tank. This 800 watt heater is cranking out the heat. You can see the heated water leaving the area of the heater. Bring on the high temperature reading, baby. It's six hours later, the tank is 149 degrees, 149 degrees Fahrenheit in this thing. It is radiating out heat. It almost hurts to stand here. You can feel it. You can feel the heat coming off this thing from this far away. Like it's steaming. You can see it forming on the sides of the tank here. Stick my finger in here and it, it hurts. It's hot. Like this could be your coffee. There's a good idea. You need to make a bunch of coffee, fill it up with RODI water, Heat it up to 149 degrees, boom. Biggest coffee maker ever. All right, so this is super hot. We probably could get this thing to boil. That'd be 212 degrees Fahrenheit. But the boss won't let me run this thing overnight and I'd probably have to add a glass top to help contain the heat. You can see the heat's rising off here. If I could put a glass top on here, be able to maintain this heat and probably get it even hotter. But for now, we got this thing up to 149 degrees Fahrenheit super hot. Any fish in here would be long since dead. Your corals would be dead. Pretty much everything in your tank would be nuked. Moral of the story this. First of all, always have a secondary controller for your heater. You're going to want a heater that has a thermostat built in. Then you're going to want to put it on some kind of controller like the invert here, or you have a tank controller like an Apex. Don't rely on that heater on its own because if you let it free run, things can get really hot. We fully understand that the 1.1 kilowatts of heating power that we put into the 20 gallon tank was overkill. We did it because we're trying to get up to 212 degrees. Therefore, you may be looking at this episode and saying, dude, my tank's got a smaller heater than that. There's no way I can even get to 110 degrees or 100 degrees. This fact we hope is true. That being said, the livestock in your tank's probably gonna show stress around the 83, 85, definitely when you get to the 90 degree point, Things are going to get stressed down in here, coral's going to bleach, you're probably going to lose your fish. So while it may take you a long, long time to get to 100 degrees, you may not even be able to get to 110 degrees or even 100, the point is stressing your tank out by raising the temperature up to even 85 degrees is bad. And a runaway heater can do that even if it's undersized. All right. Man, I really wanted to get it to boiling, but that's all right. Understand safety. Boss don't want to leave it on over the weekend. 149 degrees Fahrenheit on this 20 gallon tank. That is hot. With that, I'm Mark Callen, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. 
I'll catch you in the next episode.